Holy Cross takes on Oregon tonight in the big dance. The tournament has been full of upsets already, and Crusader fans are hopeful their team will score another one. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us with more on the excitement surrounding Holy Cross. Brittany? Olivia, many students I talk to even have Holy Cross at the top of their March Madness bracket. Fans are ready for their underdogs to take the win. Holy Cross students have faith in their basketball team as they take on number one seed, Oregon. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. I have the Crusaders winning all the way to the top in my bracket. Oh, I know, they're gonna win. In the history of the NCAA tournament, a 16th seed has never beaten a first seed team. You gotta come out ready to go, you know, no matter who you're playing. And, um, you know, we're, we're for sure gonna be ready because we know what uh, type caliber team we're going up against. But David McKenna, the director of the Holy Cross Bookstore, says if the Crusaders play a perfect game and Oregon is slightly off, Holy Cross could make history happen. With the way they're playing, I think Oregon is going to underestimate them because of their poor record, but I think they can, they can take them. The bookstore made t-shirts specifically for the Patriot League win, and McKenna says they have been flying off the shelves. We sold, I think, 400 shirts. Uh, within about four hours. Not only are students repping Holy Cross, but state representative and Holy Cross alum Dan Donahue says he's hearing Holy Cross's name all around the city. And to see the whole city light up, I mean, every event I'm at, every, every coffee shop is talking about Holy Cross basketball right now. We're a small school, there's 2,900 kids here, and the fact that we're making such a big name for ourselves is really incredible. Father Earl Markey was the captain of the basketball team on the school's 1953 NCAA tournament team. He says making it far in the tournament is all about the right mentality. What they can do is one thing, but what you can do and what your own strengths are and your own sense of confidence. They've, our team has won five games in a row in very difficult circumstances, so they should have a very positive attitude. I think there's a huge chance they're going to win tonight. I believe in Cinderella stories. I always love the underdog. Father Marquis says he's been watching the team ever since he graduated. He is thrilled the team has made it the farthest since he was captain 63 years ago. Olivia, back to you. All right, Brittany, thank you.